from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning and happy Friday. Coming off the worst basketball season in almost 50 years, there's going to be a heavy dose of criticism. Mizzou head coach Kim Anderson fully understands that, but he's following the lead of Mizzou football coach Gary Pinkle by blocking out the media. Anderson said he used to love listening to sports talk radio. That is, until this happened. Listening and they're talking about Bill Self and they're talking about these guys. All of a sudden they were talking about me. So I quit listening to sports talk radio. I don't listen to sports talk radio anymore. Apologetically, I don't read the newspaper very much either. My wife actually reads it and then tells me if I can read it. One of the things most people are harshly criticizing is the team's offense and its ability to consistently put up points. The Tigers finished dead last in the SEC in scoring this past season. While Coach Anderson is disappointed in his team's performance, at least he's able to joke about it. Spend more time on offense. It's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, but we will. <laughs> we will. I mean, you know, I rode in here last year on that white horse and said, we're going to play defense. Yeah, and then we couldn't score. So, you know, I know I'm not very smart. I got two degrees from the university, and we're, I think we're going to work more on offense this summer. Despite the basketball team struggles, it's still a great time to be a Tiger. For the first time in school history, Mizzou is ranked in the top 25 of the Director's Cup standings. If you're not familiar with these standings, the Director's Cup goes to the school with the most success across all sports. With sports like wrestling, swimming and diving, and track and field all finishing strong this season, Mizzou is ranked 25th overall and 6th in the SEC. The final rankings are said to come out in late June. The Mizzou baseball team has a chance to significantly help those standings, as the Tigers are currently ranked 20th in the country, but yesterday did not help the cause. They lost to Tennessee by a score of 5-2. Game two of the series is today with junior Reggie McLean on the hill for the Tigers, looking to pick up his fifth win of the year to go along with his stellar 2.83 ERA. Now to the majors. Edison Volquez making his Royals debut on the mound yesterday. Got a ton of help from his defense. Check out this play by Lorenzo Kane. Makes a crashing into the wall catch, robs the White Sox, White Sox of an extra base hit. And get this, Paulo Orlando is just the third Brazilian to ever play in a Major League Baseball game. After spending 10 years in the minors, how's this for his first big league hit? Orlando laces a triple to left center field as the Royals get their first opening series sweep since 08. Orlando got the well-deserved Gatorade bath after the game. That's yes, my dream, you know, and, uh, well, I can't explain right now, but I'm very thankful for everybody coming here and watching everybody, everybody playing. So let's do it, you know, let's go to the playoff again. Moving on to the gridiron now. As spring football continues, one of the biggest question marks coming into the season is who will replace Shane Ray and Marcus Golden. Meet Marcus Loud and Charles Harris. Loud admits he had some off-the-field issues that were affecting his on-field play and production last season. But after working hard with defensive line coach Craig Kuligowski, he says he's matured. Now the defensive end duo believes they are ready to continue the legacy of the D-Line Zoo name. Within the process of everything, it opened up my eyes and made me realize that just because, you, just because you're here and you're on scholarship, you're this player, you're in this spot, nothing's, for, nothing's guaranteed. Everything, anything can be taken away from you in a moment. Oh, I, don't, I don't see nobody stopping us. I really don't. Uh, that's a duo that's going to be, you know, that, that's the next great in the making. That's the next great two names in the making. So I think we're going to be unstoppable. We'll end on this note. Sophomore Anthony Sherrills is the fastest player in Mizzou's secondary, but just two years ago, his football career and his life almost came to an abrupt stop. Sherrill suffered a traumatic brain injury in a car crash right here in Columbia. Sherrill says that when he plays, he still remembers the moment clearly. I learned that I'm extremely blessed. Uh, I couldn't walk, I could barely walk, couldn't run. Uh, didn't know I was alive for a couple of days. So um, just taking everything as it is, uh, every day is a blessing. Every day is a blessing. And that will do it for sports.